Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to share with you real quickly um, this package that I got from Myra, Myra Rodriguez. Um, we were involved in a swap together on a Facebook swap, um, 50 Shades of Crazy Crafters, and she sent me, our project was a loaded heart envelope. Um, and so that's what I'm going to share with you. She did um, send me several things in this package. And I do believe this one is the challenge entry for my challenge. So I'm going to open this pocket letter. It says, this is a simple pocket letter for your challenge. I hope you like it. I'm going to open this in its own video. And I'm hoping that the rest of this stuff goes with the loaded heart swap and not the pocket letter challenge. But if it does, I apologize. I, I feel like um, I should open this all together, but then I don't want to cheat her out of her challenge entry. So I'm just going to set this one to the side, and I will open it in a different video so that it can have its own entry like everybody else's is. I don't want to cheat her out of that entry video. But I will open everything else. Um... Now, by the looks of it, Myra, honey, you have sent me way more than I sent you. By the way, your package went out um, today, which is Friday, so you should have it. Um, I think the receipt said Tuesday, but I sent about 10 packages out, and everything was supposed to be delivered either Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. So you should be receiving your soon, and now that I see all this stuff sitting in front of me, I think maybe I've cheated you on, I mean, your loaded heart envelope has a ton of stuff in it um, with a lot of extra goodies, but you sent, like, obviously way more than I sent you. I wish that I would have opened your package before I sent it out because I would have added some more stuff. I feel like you sent me way more than I sent you, but there's nothing I can do about it now. Um, so we're just going to open this up. I hope you like mine, and I'm quite certain that I will love yours. Um, i seen it partially on, on the Facebook page, so I know I like the outside of what you had done up until that point. Um, so this says, this is our heart. This is the heart for our swap. I hope you like it. And again, I will have all of her... Um, information link down below. She does have a YouTube channel. Um, it's Myra Rodriguez. I want to say 76, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but again, I will have her information linked down below. And this is, like I said before, our loaded heart envelope. As you can see, she's got it duct taped here. The packaging. I'm just going to get this out of this package. Oh, this actually looks a little bit different. This looks different than the one I've seen on Facebook. It's still super cute. Hold on, guys, and I'm going to show it to you. She's got it in a Ziploc bag here. Super cute. Let's see. Let me move this out of the way so we can get a really good picture of it. Here it is. How stinking cute, guys. Now, I will warn you, Myra, I made my heart a little bit different and a little bit bigger than um, the outline that Miss Robin had showed us. So, I hope you like yours. Let's see here. So super cute. I really, really love this little lace, this little fragile lace she has down here. I don't know where you got it, but this little, can you guys see that real well? This little lace right here, I'm in love with. I love that. I love the paper. I also like the pink ribbons. This um, tool in the background, she's got this red twine. Nope, that's pink twine around around the back of this flower with the flower and then a pink one inside there. And then she's also, I don't know if you guys can see this lacy, roughly lacy, sheer um, lace right there. Very, very pretty. Love it. Alright, I don't know where to start. 
we're gonna get into it but I don't know where to start everything looks so cute Myra you did such a good job um, so she has put this attached to this paper clip and of course it says to Sue from Myra very cute I'm gonna go ahead and just put this I have this board up here in front of my desk that my sister sent me and this says love you be mine how super cute is he that's cute and then of course she's got some candies in here which of course I'm sure my kids will gank take from me and here is a little package and it has blueberry green tea I love blueberry and there is several different kinds in there let's see if I can look at it pomegranate Ooh, I love pomegranate and then peach I love peaches too and this one is it looks like orange spice yummy I love tea I only drink um, hot tea in the winter time though I know that sounds weird but it's true um, but it's still cold here I don't know it's probably about 15 degrees here in Missouri where I'm at and then here we have a little ring heart sucker very cute I never think to put candy in mine. Isn't that weird? And then here is this adorable wand. And she's got the lace back here in the back. And then she's got a, a white satin ribbon here. And this is... I'm not sure. Did you make that out of cupcake liner? It looks awful stiff for a cupcake liner. You'll have to let me know. It feels like one though. And there's the back of it with the little heart in the middle. And then there's a double heart here. And those are, if you guys can't tell, those are cherries on there, which is super cute. Uh, cherries remind me of summer, so I'm liking that since it's so incredibly cold here. And then here is another rosette. And this one definitely, I think, is a cupcake liner rosette, which are my favorite. And then he's, she's got some cray paper in the center with a flat back pearl here and a little red gem there. And over here is a coffee it looks like oh yeah looks like a frappe cup and she's got a clear lid over the top which is clever I don't I've never seen anybody put a clear piece here to make it actually look like the frappe lids that are you know obviously clear with the straw and I love this um, ribbon those hearts are shiny I don't know if you guys can see that that's so adorably cute and then she just got a little heart down here inside the cup. That is very, I like how you made this top piece clear. Very, very lovely. And then here is, she's made up this little bow to go on the top. And she's got like a little doily piece here. And they are Tic Tacs, looks like. And they're Be Mine Tic Tacs. Do you guys see that? They've got Be Mine, I Love You, Hug Me. It's like the conversation hearts, but with Tic Tacs so cute and I've never seen these I wonder if they taste like um I wonder what what flavor they are I don't know we'll find out oh it says berry I think there's a little bee right there I think that says berry flavored so it's probably like different blurry kinds um, strawberry raspberry blueberry all those berries I imagine are in there and then here she has put these. I like all these little toppers you put on the top of these. Um, I'm not sure that I did that. I'll be honest with you. I mean, I think I I can't remember. I've been making so many projects, I, I don't want to tell you that I put toppers on it if I, I'm not 100% sure. I think some things got toppers on it and some things didn't. Um, a whole bunch of tags in here those are super cute I really like this little one it's got lace on it and then that's a little cray paper piece with a little ribbon and a jewel on it I don't want to open them they look so pretty did you um did was this paper like this all glittery or did you glitter this paper yourself I can't tell by looking at it so you'll have to let me know in the comments down below gorgeous 
And then here is a little, um, look how cute she's got this topper, guys. The doily on the top. She's got a little um, cupcake rosette here with the star inside there. And then she's got a glittered um, flower die cut piece right there um, underneath all that. That is super cute. I like how you use the doilies. I love doilies. Um, and it's just got a whole bunch of little sweet treats in it. Cupcakes, lollipops, candies. Very cute. And I don't have anything like that. So I'm excited um, to get some sweet treats. I can't find that kind of stuff where I live. I know that sounds silly, but it's true. And then here again, she's um, done this one up with doilies. Foam heart there. Oh, look at that, guys. How stinking cute. I'm opening this because I do believe this is a handmade card. And I think that was um, one of the things that we needed to include in our loaded heart. Our loaded heart had to have different embellishments on it, different laces and trims and things. And then... Um, it had to have a little bit of goodies in there and then um, a handmade card. Oh, there's two of them. Look at you. So here's the first one. I don't know about you guys, but this whole situation, I'm loving it. Like that is the cutest pair of lips I've ever seen. And they're like, you know, three dimensional and she's got it up on this um, um, felt heart here. And the felt heart has faux stitching around it which everybody knows that I love faux stitching I don't know why I do but I do it looks very rustic and country to me anything with faux stitching on it and I love the rustic feel of, of things so something just as simple as this reminds me mostly of home um, and so I appreciate it when anybody puts um, these little small pieces with the faux stitching on it and then she's got a ribbon that's coming down the side here and she has put this balloon paper which is the same paper that she made the the heart out of super cute and then of course she has left it blank for me so that I can send it out to somebody else if I choose to do so and then here is this one. This one is so cute. I have not been able to find these silver doilies. Um, so I, I really, really love these silver doilies. But I can't find them where I'm at. I wish I did, but I couldn't. And then I love this XOXO sticker on the top as well as this little guy down here. Very cute. Very simple, but that silver doily in the background just makes it look very elegant. And again, she's left it blank for me so that I can use it how I see fit. Oh, look at this one, guys. You see that? She's added this pearl spray to the top, which I love. Another one of them things that I can't ever find is this kind of type of sprays like this. I can't ever find them. Um... And then she's used the same cupcake liner rosette, and she has added um, this cut out, punched out um, flower die cut, and she's used the same paper as the envelope, which I like. And then she's added this heart. She's added this lace trim, which also is very rustic to me um, and very reminds me of home and my grandma. Um, and then she's added this little flower here and this um, twine as well as this trim, this red trim down here. And then on the back here, it's double layered. So she has this layer and she has that layer of cupcake liner, which gives it a little dimension. Oh, and as well as a third layer in here. Very cute. And she's added this little heart to the back to finish it off. Very cute. I really like it. Myra, you did such a good job, babe. Oh, and uh, I don't know about y'all, but these are like my favorite. I'm not even playing. These have been my favorite since I've been a child. So I'm going to have to hide those so my kids don't get them. All right, so let's take another real quick at this heart. 
Um, with all the goodies in there, you couldn't really see that this, um, the back of this has got like a crepe paper finish. And she has trimmed all along the outside of this heart. So stinking cute. I love the inside paper there with the tic-tac-toes and the arrows. Very pretty, very stunning. I'm going to flip it over for y'all. And she has just, look at that. She has put little crepe paper rosettes all the way around there. And she has, looks like she has, um, I think she has um, added some washi here. But it almost looks like she has stamped it. Sorry, I'm not in frame. Um, but it almost looks like she has stamped it. It's very pretty, whatever whatever she used here. You'll have to let me know, Myra, if this is the way the washi came or if you altered it in some way. Either way, I love it. I like that um, pink. It almost looks like pink marble to me. So you'll have to let me know. And if it is washi, um, make sure you put in the comments down below where you got it. Because if I can buy that online, I will definitely try. I really like how this ribbon comes down through um, the lace here. And she has left it like a little tail there. It looks very, very, very pretty. So Stunning, stunning um, loaded heart envelope, Myra. You did such a great job. I love it. All right. So then she sent me some more goodies. I think she might have overdone herself. I mean, the loaded heart was plenty. She put everything in there that she was supposed to. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect anything else is the thing. Let's see what's in this bag. Oh my gosh, she sent me like a whole package of things. Oh, Myra, Myra, Myra. You spoiled me. Girl. Alright, so the first thing in this envelope are cupcake liners. And I love cupcake liners because I do not have a scoreboard. Look at that one. And so I don't get, I don't, I make all of my rosettes out of cupcake liners. I'm loving all these fall ones. I don't have any of any fall cupcake liners at all. So I really, really appreciate you sending me these. Really. I love polka dots. I love that one. These emojis are fun. I love them. And then, of course, she sent me some of these cherries that um, she used on her rosettes. Oh, and there's big ones and small ones. How cute. From the way you made your wands, honey, I thought that it was you just trimmed them all down. But I can see now that you had two different sizes. Super cute. And then she has sent me a variety of straws. Which I'm loving because I don't have too many packages of straws. You can see here she sent me green. Green's one of my favorite colors. And I really do not have any like Valentine's Day themed straws. So I'm really excited about those. Um, and then there's pink ones back there. She sent me... Um, look at how much she sent me. I mean she sent me quite a bit in all varieties, all colors. And I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Myra, honey. And then she's also sent me two stamps. One says thank you, and one says handmade with love. And I'm excited about this one here because I, I had this stamp and I ruined it. Um, I won't go into the story on how I, I did such a thing, but... I'm glad, and when I went back to my Dollar Tree, they didn't have any more of them, so I'm really excited that she sent me one. She didn't even know that I needed it, and she sent it. It's funny, coincidences. And then she sent me oh, some washi tape, guys, and I love this washi tape. I've never seen it before. I mean, obviously, I know it's a Dollar Tree washi tape. I've never seen it. Um, but I really, really enjoy these. My boys will love that. And I have seen this one and have had this one and used all of it because I love this print. I love the teal and the chocolate brown together. For some reason, to me, those just go together. Um, so I'm excited that it's so... 
I mean, my Dollar Tree usually doesn't have washi tape, so I'm excited about that washi tape. And then the stars, which I love stars, so I'm excited to have this one. And I do have a pattern of stars, but I don't think it's this one particularly. Nope, I don't believe so. And then this one has got umbrellas and rain clouds on it. So super cute. Thank you, Myra. You didn't have to send me all this stuff. I mean, I'm glad that you did, and I really do appreciate it. And here is some more sweet treat stuff, which I'm excited about because I don't have any. And these, I know, again, come from Dollar Tree, but my Dollar Tree doesn't get stuff like this. Or at least when I'm there, um, you know, they never have stuff like that. And I go just about every Friday, guys, and I don't get that kind of stuff. And these I'm excited about because I do not have any paper flowers, and I don't know how to make them. So you'll have to let me know, Myra, if you bought these or if you made these. If you made these, you need to definitely put a tutorial up on how you did so, so that I can learn how to do them, um, because it's something that I do not know how to do. And I just haven't had the time yet to research it any, any further on how to do such things. And here are some little baby paper clips, which I love, and it's in all different colors the pinks and the greens of course those are my two favorite colors and yeah I don't have I mean I do have a, a few of these smaller paper clips but I'm excited to have a whole bunch of them now and then she sent me a variety of baker's twine so super cute I probably have the pink but I don't have any other of these colors so I'm really excited to have them I especially like this this one and this one and the pink one of course those are my three favorite colors she's so funny I just now seen that she has a note on the outside of this envelope and it says little extra stuff for you to play with have fun Hope you like the washi. Maybe you can use it for the boys. And I just said that about that monster washi. Um, because I have probably a, an idea in my head of what I can play with the boys with that washi with. So I'm really, really excited. Plus I have a nephew who I send pocket letters to every once in a while. Along with my niece, of course. And that would look really cute on that a pocket letter for him too. And this set of stickers I had been looking for, I seen somebody haul them not too long ago. And of course, my Dollar Tree doesn't get a ton of stickers. So I was super excited after I pulled these flowers and things off here and the sweet treat stickers. Sorry about knocking my camera over. To see that this was in the bag because I have been searching for this set of stickers for ever since I seen that first person haul it weeks ago. So thank you so much for sending me these stickers. I really, really, really love this set. They're like, um, they're like little pieces of artwork, this set of stickers. I just love them. They're like, um, to me, it looks like uh, hearts that you would draw with that sidewalk chalk on, you know, on the sidewalk or whatever. Like a little girl just sitting around doodling her flat her hearts out with chalk on the sidewalk. That's what these remind me of. And, you know, that's something me and my sister did when we were kids. And then she has given me this set of stickers, which are equally as cute. I love this daisy. I love this one down here, too, with the button in the center and the birds as well. I got a couple of these stickers. I believe these in a pocket letter from Nessa. So I'm excited to have the whole set. I believe this was on the pocket letter too, if I'm remembering correctly. The flower might have been too. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm excited to have this whole set. And again, it's another thing that I've not been able to find at my Dollar Tree. So really excited. Okay. So the next thing is this box here. And it says, a little something extra for your desk. Hope you like it. Happy Valentine's Day, Amiga. 
Let's see what it is. Oh, how super cute. Look, guys. Can you see this? I do not have anything like this, but I do have to say that I love it. Not even going to lie. I've never even seen one of these before. That is the coolest thing on the planet. Look at that. How cool is that, guys? It is a tape. If you guys can't tell what this is, it is a tape dispenser in the shape of a martini glass. That's what that is. That is so cool. And I don't have a tape dispenser at all, Myra, so you, like, made my day with this. I love it. And it's going to sit right here on my desk. You're right. That's what it's going to... That is where it's going to go. And it's pink and green, which are my favorite colors. That is so super cool. All right, honey. You definitely, definitely overdid yourself. I was not expecting all of this goodness. Um, but I really, really appreciate it. Um, and I will definitely get some good use out of these things. And again, I will have her link in the description bar below um, this was a loaded heart envelope swap from our Facebook group called 50 shades of crazy crafters so if you guys are interested in checking out that um, group just jump over to Facebook and it's um, 50 shades of crazy crafters and I'll also put that title in the description bar below so come on over join in on the fun um, that craft group is really about crafting things that you normally would not craft um, just like this loaded heart envelope and there's many many more things that are coming up and we're getting ready to do that is just outside of the box stuff that I would never ever dream to have even thought of crafting um, I'm a little nervous about some of it because some of it's stuff that I've never done before. But at the same time, it's kind of exciting to try to craft new things and different things that we normally wouldn't craft. We kind of get in this routine of, you know, making pocket letters and loaded envelopes and all that stuff, which is fun and great. But it's also fun and great to craft some things that you don't normally craft as well, just, just to get it out there and see what you can do. So I am super excited about this loaded envelope. And like I told you before, Myra, I sent yours out Friday. I'm recording this video Friday night at about 10 o'clock at night. But yours did go out this morning. Um, so it should be there early next week. My Your package looks way bigger than my package. But my heart envelope, just give you a little hint, is about three or four sizes bigger than yours. Um, so all of your goodness is in that one envelope, I think. Um, so anyway, that's just a little hint for you. I hope you enjoy what I sent you. I really, really, truly enjoyed what you sent me. I had so much fun making your envelope and, um, I hope you like it. All right, guys, um, that does it for this video. I'll see you next time.